artistas, this is Miss Paulice y bienvenidos. Did you know that there's no such thing as a skin color crayon? In fact, our skin color is just as unique as we are. Hoy, we will learn how we can blend together colors and use value to match our own skin color. Vamanos, let's learn more. Hoy, we will use color to refine our self-portraits. Last class, we spent time drawing and adding details that represent the different layers of our identity. We even began adding color to our work. But what color is your skin? To help us understand the answer to this question, let's read All the Colors We Are by Katie Kissinger. Press pause as we read along together. Wow, what a wonderful book. Now let's take a moment to reflect on a few important questions. Primero, what is color? What is skin? ¿Qué es skin color? Why is it important? ¿Por qué is it not important? And why might some people find it hard to talk about this? Our skin color is different and unique. It's part of what makes each one of us special. We are all beautiful shades of brown. Some of us have more melanin in our skin, which makes our skin darker. And some of us have less melanin, which makes our skin lighter. We also have hints of other colors in our skin as well. What colors do you see in your skin? Let's learn a few tips to help you recreate your own unique skin color. The first thing to keep in mind when using crayons or colored pencils is to think about pressure. The lighter you press down onto your paper, the lighter the color will be. The harder you press down, the darker the color will be. Notice how the colors mix together with one another. I suggest starting with a brown color and then blending together other colors until you match your own unique skin color. How many colors will you use? Looking at these portraits by Kehinde Wiley, you might notice that skin color isn't all one shade. Some parts are lighter and some parts are darker. How do artists use value in their work to form faces? Consider how La Luz creates highlights and shadows on these faces photographed by Angelica Das. Recuerda that value is the lightness or darkness of a color, and you can use pressure to add valor to your self-portrait. When you include these highlights and shadows, it will make your face appear more three-dimensional. You can see the forms of the nose, cheeks, lips, forehead, and chin on Angelica Das's photograph. Take note of how Kehinde Wiley includes both value and form when painting his portraits. Y mira mi autorretrato before and after adding value and form. ¡Qué diferencia! Another important elemento de arte to consider is texture. Textura is the way a surface feels or how it looks like it would feel. You would have used texture when drawing your hair. Darse cuenta como que Hindi Wiley uses lines and value to represent the different textures in the hair of these portraits. The portrait on the left uses short, straight, and curved lines to represent the texture of the hair, while the portrait on the right uses a combination of long, wavy, and curly lines. How can you recreate your hair color and texture? Puede ves la textura en mi pelo. As you can see, adding value, form, and texture can make a big difference in your self-portrait. So be sure to take your time and do your best work. Ahora es tu turno. Empieza by adding color to your work. Después, refine your self-portrait. To refine means to make small improvements. So make sure you've included value, form, and texture, and add any final details. Note that you do not need to finish today, as we'll have one more class to complete our self-portraits. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how you can blend together different colors and use value to match your skin color. I can't wait to see your self-portrait progress. Para próxima clase, we will prepare and present our work. Recuerda that we are all different and unique, por dentro y por fuera. Until next time, Adiós, artistas.